Hello everyone, this is Brian Lao Tzu from omhealth.com and today I want to share with you about uh, Medicine Buddha. Now, Medicine Buddha is an enlightened being who has unbiased compassion for all living beings. He protects living beings from physical and mental sickness and other dangers and obstacles and help them to eradicate the three poisons which are attachment, hatred and ignorance which are the source of all sickness and danger. He is a Buddha doctor. Now at one time Buddha Shakyamuni was staying at a place called Vashale with 36,000 Pudizhava disciples. At that time Manjushri was appearing as a Pudizhava disciple. Through his compassion, Manjushri realized that in the future uh, the Buddha Dharma would degenerate and the beings of this world would find very difficult to practice pure Dharma and gain pure realizations. He understood that it would be very difficult for those beings to control their minds and so they would naturally engage in negative actions such as killing, stealing and holding wrong views. As a result, they would experience horrific illnesses and unbearable mental pain. The world would be full of problems, dangers and adversity. Finding the thought of all this suffering impossible to bear, Manjushri asked Buddha, In the future, when your Dharma and general spiritual practice are in decline, when the human beings in this world are spiritually in improvised, when their attachment, anger and ignorance are so strong and difficult to control, that they experience continual sufferings, mental pain, fears and dangers and especially many incurable diseases. Who will release them from this suffering and protect them from danger? Who will help them to overcome the three mental poisons? Now, in response to Pudhisattva Manjushri's questions, Buddha expounded the Sutra of 8,000 verses principally revealing the instruction on Medicine Buddha. Many beings heard this teaching. In addition to the 36,000 human Buddhisattva dis disciples, millions of other Buddhisattva disciples came from many pure lands, together with beings from other realms such as Nagas and givers of harm or Yashas. To this vast assembly of disciple Buddha explained all about Medicine Buddha, his special qualities his pure land and how in the future by relying upon this Buddha and just hearing his name, living beings could be cured of heavy mental and physical sickness, especially the sickness of delusions. He also explained how to make a connection with this Buddha, the benefits of relying upon him and how to practice the medicine Buddha instructions. While Buddha was giving this teaching, Manjushri realized with his clairvoyance of knowing others' mind that some of the humans and gods in the audience were developing doubts. Finding it difficult to believe the Buddha's explanation about the existence of Medicine Buddha. Therefore, again he rose from his heart, his seats, sorry, respectfully circumambulated Buddha three times, made three prostrations, and then with his left knee on the ground according to tradition, requested Buddha to remove doubts from the minds of disciples. Please show clearly how this Buddha exists, where he exists and what his good qualities are. Buddha immediately entered into an absorption of concentration and from his heart emulated light rays inviting the seven medicine Buddhas to Vashali so that everyone could see them. Medicine Buddha came with his two main disciples, Radiance of Suns and Radiance of the Moon, as well as a vast retinue of thousands of other disciples. The other six Medicine Buddha also came with their retinues. Everyone could see the seven Medicine Buddhas with their retinues directly, and their doubts were immediately dispelled. Buddha introduced each of the Buddha, saying, for example, the Buddha is Medicine Buddha. He comes from the Eastern Pure Land called Lapis Jewel Land. This Buddha land is the nature of wisdom with the aspect of Lapis Lazuli. The entire ground of that Pure Land is illuminated by this Buddha's light and so on. 
Buddha then gave instructions how to recite the mantra for oneself and for others, for sick and dying people and so forth, and how to perform many different healing rituals. Everyone rejoiced and developed deep, unchangeable faith. It is said that through hearing this instruction, seven million non-human givers of harm gain a direct realization of ultimate truth and promise to help future followers who sincerely rely upon the practice of Medicine Buddha. Twelve chief givers of harm who were present later attain enlightenment and are included within the 51 deities of Medicine Buddha's mandala. The practice of Medicine Buddha is a very powerful method for healing oneself and others and for overcoming the inner sickness of attachment, hatred and ignorance. If we rely upon Medicine Buddha with pure faith, we shall definitely receive the blessing of this attainment. And I have completed the explanation of Medicine Buddha introductions and just want to share with you since a long time ago Medicine Buddha, the Buddha himself at Manjushri has already think for people like us now in this degeneration world about the problems and I hope we can start chanting the mantra for Medicine Buddha which is Teyata Om Beganze Beganze Maha Beganze Rajasama Kate Soha So follow me Teyata Om Beganze Beganze Maha Beganze Rajasama Kate Soha Teyata Om Beganze Beganze Maha Beganze Rajasama Kate Soha Now for your parents who do not know how to chant mantra they can chant like Namo Xiao Zha Yan Shou Yao Shi Fu Namo Xiao Zha Yan Shou Yao Shi Fu Namo Xiao Zha Yan Shou Yao Shi Fu and have faith in the chanting and remember um, the chanting and prayer to Medicine Buddha help to strengthen our wisdom um, to understand the deep meaning behind Eunice to let us have the courage have the wisdom have the compassion to deal with our Eunice and let it be cure maybe after chanting you meet the right doctors you meet the right people to give you advices now uh, many people mistaken that medicine Buddha you chant and immediately your pain disappear no it help us to reduce our negative karma and also help us to gain wisdom to face our daily uh, challenges in life Thank you very much.